The purpose of the hydraulic system is to use a fluid to pressure the actuator to assist in getting work accomplished which is otherwise either too hard or impossible to complete. On an airplane, that would mean operating the landing gear, flight control surfaces, thrust reversers, flaps and slats, and a few more to add. That is literally an entire airplane. A typical system comprises a reservoir to store the hydraulic fluid, pumps, a filter and actuators which the system operates. Interesting stuff. So let us have Mr. Holland, an instructor at the ITC, talk to us in a little more detail about the hydraulic system of an airplane. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to IATC online training. On this session, we're going to talk about the aircraft basic hydraulic system. Before we start, I would like to mention a note about the importance of safety when working in aircraft in general and especially when working with systems such as hydraulics. Safety always comes first when working with aircrafts. On the trainer here, we see the layout of the basic components usually found in the hydraulic system, starting with the reservoir, the tank that holds the fluid, the lines as you see, the pumps. We have two types of pumps here. We have a manual pump and electric pump. <coughs> we have gauges to measure system pressure, protection in the form of pressure relief valve to relieve the excess pressure, and a selector valve to operate the system. In this case, we have a flap shown here, a flight control named the flap, which will operate using the selector valve. The actuator that operates the flap, a shutter valve to isolate the system. We have a filter to clean the fluid before it goes back to the reservoir. And we have a unit here known as accumulator as an emergency backup. <coughs> Hydraulic system is composed of four main parts. Number one is known as the suction feed. It is where the fluid is being sucked to the pump via the lines and the hoses. Pumps here are shown the manual pump. It is used for maintenance purposes usually and also we have an electric pump shown here which will pressurize the system and also there is a third pump known as EDP engine driven pump attached to the gearbox of the engine any or either pump once it's working it will pressurize the system and that takes us to part number two the pressurized manifold, manifold. Pressurized manifold will carry the fluid through to the selector valve and once the selector valve is moved, the pressure is delivered to the user, to this actuator, the flap actuator now, and it will operate. Once the actuator moves and operates, the fluid will move to the third part known as the return. The fluid will go from the actuator back to the reservoir, as we said, through the filter for cleaning and back to the reservoir. The fourth part is known as the emergency backup, shown here in a form of an accumulator. It's a cylindrical type accumulator with a piston. Usually gas is used is nitrogen and the purpose of the accumulator one of the purposes is to prevent system surges by compressing the gas within and maintaining the pressure the second purpose is to supply the system in case of failure in emergency and usually systems such as brakes are supplied by the accumulator and this concludes our session on the hydraulic system. Thank you for watching.